Just another thing. Climate alarmism and the use of the Great Barrier Reef as a political plaything for global climate activism. It happens every now and then. The activist fringe groups like Greenpeace and Extinction Rebellion, they do it all the time. Barack Obama has done it when he's visited Australia. And the United Nations always likes to use the Great Barrier Reef in its fear-mongering. And they're doing it again. The UN threatening to declare the reef in danger unless all sorts of things change, including emissions reductions from Australia, no less. Listen to how it's covered on the ABC. It's very wide-reaching and um, is, is a really clear pathway now for the governments to enact these recommendations. Now, the visit was actually made in March before the change in government. Of course, with the change in government, we did get a change in our emissions targets. Now, uh, a cut of 43% by uh, 2030. There was uh, changes to funding as well for dams, um, which had also been criticised by this report. Have things materially changed in Australia since these experts visited? Yes, it has changed and the, the new government has actually done more really in the, the first six months in office than the previous government did in its nine years. Really? The Albanese government has saved the reef with their climate promises? This stuff would be hilarious if it wasn't just so dumb and dangerous. Look, what that scientist and the ABC should know, well, presumably, presumably they actually do know, but they pretend otherwise is that according to the science, you know, the science, the facts, nothing Australia does, nothing we do with our emissions will change the global climate. Don't pretend so. Global emissions are rising while ours are being reduced. We're reducing our 1% of global emissions while much more is added every year. We could shut ourselves down. Maybe we will, the way things are going, but it won't make any difference one way or the other to the Great Barrier Reef.